Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining me today. This is Nick from Raw Skills Bushcraft Survival and Adventures. And here I am on a beautiful day in Canada right now. We're in a deep three, a deep freeze. Um, currently the temperature is about minus 13. Uh, I'm not sure what it feels like at the moment, but what a great time to come out and bring the dogs out for a good wander. Get them out of the house for a bit because they're nuts. As you can see, you'll be able to see. So I figured as I'm walking around, we could do a bit of natural navigation. Show you some different things. And what to look for if you couldn't find a cut, if you don't have a compass. And you need to navigate to find direction. So, yeah, first couple of things we'll go through are the sun. If you think about it, think of the way I like to remember it is uh, the sun rises in the east sets in the west so Japan is in the east so land they call it the land of the rising sun so yeah sunset sun sets in the west rises in the east so that's how I would like to remember it just remember Japan the land of the rising sun so in the morning and in the evening like it is now if you could see the sun which I can't it's over, just over the hills just over that way you'd be able to gauge your east-westerly uh, directions from that so at the moment because I have the Sun on my left hand side on my left shoulder I'm currently traveling north on this trail currently traveling a rough north direction if I turn around put the Sun on my right shoulder I'm traveling a southerly direction it's that simple so that's that's the Sun and uh, now that, that'll work almost almost to midday most of the time depending if you can see the Sun once you hit midday of course the earth is rotating around the Sun so the Sun will appear to be uh, dead dead north of you Too high in the sky for you to be able to gauge east-west at that time so and of course there's a stick method as well which I'll I'll show you at a later date but yeah just that's one way of telling direction naturally right out in the woods Let's see what else I can find for you I'm gonna keep cutting you on cutting you in and cutting you out as I go and find things This, uh, this trail I'm on now it's not very exposed by the wind so one thing I wanted to show you is back the other way so I'll probably show you that on the way out uh, here we have our second method of natural navigation right here that I've just come up to as you can see this uh, snow swept tree stump has one side where the snow's blown onto it and has another side that's bare what does that tell me okay so that tell if if you're in your part of the world you know where your prevailing winds are and which way they come from typically my area is from the west i can gauge my west to east direction by looking at things like this so here i have the snow blown on the one side and of course the what the other side of the stump is bare that there pretty much gives me my west to east direction so yeah the snow has blown from the west heading towards the east because of my prevailing winds and I can see that again if you look at this tree over here it'd be the same on this tree right here right at the base of the tree you have a mound of snow built up and as you can see it ramps up it ramps up this side it's came through the gap in the tree and it's just kind of mounded through on this side and also this that, that tree just here too it's the same thing ramps up the one side ramps up the one side and there's no, barely anything on the on the the eastern side of the tree 
with all natural navigation you want to be looking for numbers so when you see one piece of potential uh, means of getting your, your direction you want to find a, a couple more means of getting your direction via that method so I have one tree two trees three trees all showing me the same thing so that there is a good west west to, west to east indicator so if I carry on if I travel this way I'll be heading east if I keep on traveling down the hill straight this way that's my north hopefully that's clear enough for you anyway let's keep let's keep moving these dogs need to be nice and warm So with natural navigation, the more exposed the area, the more accurate your natural navigation methods will be. So as you saw with that last method with the tree stub and the snow buildup on the one side, that area there is exposed to quite a bit of the prevailing wind. I know that because one, I've walked down here quite a bit and two, as you, uh, if you look to the western side, it's just an open, open wood line. Especially in the winter when the when the branches are shorter and the leaves are all off the trees. So that uh, that helps us quite a bit. Going back to what I was saying earlier about the sun. Okay, as you can see, the sun has set in the west which is just through those woods and on over the horizon there. And to my east right now, this is great to see, we have the moon rising. Basically the sun and the moon basically go in the same trajectory across our sky. It's kind of an illusion because if you look at how the planets move in the solar system, the earth moves around the sun. So if we watch that moon, I guarantee on the way out, that moon will be a little bit higher. It's following the same trajectory as the sun did. So the, the moon will rise in the east and set in the west as well. I just thought I'd point that out because it's a good time to see that. Let's carry on walking. These dogs are just nuts and they've got to be, we've got to tire them out. <laughs> as you can see, I'm losing light right now. But uh, I'll be adding more to this natural navigation section on my website as the weeks go by and the months come through. So, hey, from me, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, stay warm. <laughs>